Well, hi there. I'm Clint, and this is La Chisas Muta, which means silent death. This is the Bushmaster. And we've come here to the Peruvian Amazon to look for as many of the dangerous, venomous snakes as we can find. And this might just be the king of them all. Let's see what else we can find. This is a red touches black snake. And anytime I talk about a tricolored snake that's red touches black, people always recite to me the same basic rhyme, something to the effect of red touches black, you're okay, Jack, red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. And whenever I see that comment come up in the comments, I always say the same thing, which is that works unless it doesn't. And this is a coral snake, and if it bites you because you misidentified it, you're going to be in real trouble. So I would say it's not red touches black, you're okay, Jack. It's if you don't know what snake that is, leave it alone. This is a ribbon coral snake, and it is a very, very venomous elapid snake. Uh, you would not want to be bitten by this snake at all and they can be very quick and darty and, and quickly hide themselves in the foliage. At the same time, you're very unlikely to see them unless you're really, really looking for them. This is a pretty amazing snake, very beautiful, but it's the wrong one to mistake for a mimic because this is the model. Inside this bag is probably the most deadly snake in this area. It's not so deadly necessarily because it has the worst venom, or even necessarily because it is the most prone to bite, though it is very prone to bite. But uh, a lot of the reason that it is so deadly is just because it hangs out near human habitations. This one actually, we found right in our campsite. And I haven't seen him yet inside this bag. And this one's just a baby. We'll see if we find some bigger ones while we're out here. But this amazing little viper is the Fertilance. You can see he's really, really cute and really small. At this size, usually they've got a very bright tail that they use as a caudal lure, which means they wiggle that tail and a lot of Things like little lizards will see that delicious little tail wiggling around and they'll think, I think I'd like a bite of that. And they wander over there and find a very disappointing surprise on the other side. Whew, look at that head. Like I said, these guys are fairly notoriously cantankerous. Though this guy's been pretty calm for us. Quiet little guy. He's, uh, you know, like most snakes, if you're not doing anything to really threaten him, he's happy to not fight you. There is uh, no snake in the area, except maybe a green anaconda that would win a fight with a person. And then he takes very little consolation from the fact that you died tomorrow after you killed him today. But if he would be to bite me, I'd definitely be taking an emergency trip up the river, and I have no guarantees that I would survive the, the four hour journey back to safety. What an awesome, awesome little snake. Hey, I'd like to take a moment just to say thank you to our patrons at Patreon for sponsoring this trip. I, I'm just absolutely living a dream. This has been so much fun and I cannot believe how much we've seen, how much we've been able to share with you guys. If you'd like to support us doing more content like this in the future, or if you just wanna see all of the amazing features that we have for our patrons at Patreon, please consider checking it out. Thank you. This snake right here is one of the snakes I've been the most excited to see here in Peru. In fact, I can't think of one I'd be more excited to see. This is the aquatic coral snake, another red on black coral snake. You can distinguish this one fairly easily from the ribbon coral snake because it has a red head instead of that black head and it's much more heavy bodied. Not quite as much as it's letting on right now. It's doing a big threat display and they puff themselves up wide, they hold their head off to the side, they make themselves look big and scary. And uh, though they're not as big as they make themselves look, they are very scary. 
Uh, this is a, a very, very intimidating snake that would give you real problems. They bite quickly and hard. It's an elapid snake again, so they've got fixed fangs. Uh, it means they have to get around you. The snake can get around you and they're quick. If it goes up in your boot, you're going to have a horrible day and a lot of time after that as well. We're going to pause now from discussing all of these deadly, dangerous, venomous snakes to take a look at this cute, harmless looking little guy. Look at him. Oh, he's wonderful. Doesn't look like anything dangerous. He doesn't have a viper head. He doesn't have the coloration. I know red touches black doesn't always work to tell me it's safe, but this one doesn't even seem to really have any black. This is just a red snake with little yellow patches on its back. Kind of looks like some sort of colubrid snake of some sort. Maybe an egg eater or a scarlet snake. We've seen a lot of cute snakes like this here in Peru. But as it turns out, this snake isn't quite as harmless as it looks. This snake is a Langdorf's coral snake, also known as a confusing coral snake, not only because it looks potentially harmless, but also because it doesn't always even look like this. Sometimes they are tricolored snakes. Sometimes they are black, red, and yellow. Sometimes they look like this. Sometimes they have other color patterns they're sort of all over the place and it can be quite confusing. And the thing is, when it comes to handling snakes that you find like this one, you don't want to be confused. You want to know exactly what you're dealing with before you deal with it. This is a snake that if you mistook it for a harmless snake, well, that could frankly be the last mistake you ever make. This guy's just a baby, but they don't get a whole heck of a lot bigger than this. But this is the Langdorf's coral snake. All right. Well, in this area where we are, there are actually quite a few species of venomous snakes. There are a few vipers and a whole lot of coral snakes. And this snake is a coral snake. It looks very different from what anyone in North America would generally associate with being a coral snake. It doesn't have that tr traditional red, black, and yellow, or red, black, and white coral snake coloration. This has kind of got like a, a yellowy orange, sort of a golden rod. A lot of black. This is a primarily black snake, and then narrow white bands, usually two in each black segment. There are mimics to this snake in the area that look very, very similar. So this is one you could easily pick up by mistake not knowing that it was a coral snake. In fact, most of the time, if you find a snake that looks essentially like this, it's totally harmless. However, if you find this one, the orange banded coral snake, it's not harmless at all. This one could easily kill you. And uh, the thing about it is, it doesn't want to, right? None of the snakes that we have seen down here, or really, I mean, 100% true, no venomous snake anywhere in the world wants to pick a fight with a human being. There is no venomous snake on earth that wins a fight with a person. Uh, the fact that you might die later today or tomorrow is of little consolation to a snake that was killed today. However, trying to kill a venomous snake like this is one of the better ways to get yourself bitten by one. If you just leave it alone, they're happy to leave you alone. But this is a very unusual coral snake. We've seen a couple of them. We've been very blessed to have seen as many venomous snakes as we have on this trip. And because we've been careful and we haven't done anything foolish, we haven't tried to do them any harm, they've returned the favor. Honestly, we've seen very little even defensive behavior out of, out of these snakes. They've been just very, very understanding of us interacting with them in a peaceful, non-threatening way. And so uh, I think this is where we're going to leave it. This has been an incredible adventure. Thank you for joining me to find all of these venomous snakes here in the Peruvian Amazon. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon.